Okay. So I'm going to show you how to tie the uh, Rosa Rock Chick. Um, so this is actually one of my favourite patterns from Lubos Rosa. Um, it's quite unique in that you can do quite a lot of things with it. You can use it as an out and out dry fly. You can use it as a uh, as your sort of buoyant fly in a duo or trio rig. Um, but probably my favourite is you use it as the dropper when you're French nymphing. Heavy nymph on the point, this on the dropper. You use the heavy nymph to sort of anchor it, uh, and then you you sort of bounce this across the water. Um, very very effective fly. Looks crazy, but it really works. So show you how to tie it. So first things first in the vise. It's a size 14 um, full mill ultimate dry fly hook. So I attach the thread. This is um, fluorescent red uni thread. Okay. So supposedly the red thread makes the difference. Um, it's what Lubos reckons anyway. So that's what he says. I'll stick with that. Um, so the tail is a uh, pearl crystal flash. So just fold that around your thread. Pull it up and tie it in. Okay. Just neaten that body up completely. Okay. Right. Just chop that tail off. Okay, so for the body, you need really good quality CDC feathers. Um, these are pretty big ones, they're probably, I don't know, two inches long, um, and you need two of them. Um, if you have much smaller feathers, it's going to take a lot more feathers to try and fill this up, and it takes a lot longer to tie the fly. So, I'm just going to push these um, feathers up into one of these clips. Okay, so we've got all the fibres up in there. You have to chop that off. Chop that bit off. And then we just transfer the fibres over into that one. Okay. So I just chop the, um, the quill off from all of the CDC fibres. And we're left with that. So just make a dubbing loop. Run your thread up towards the eye. Put your dubbing twister in your uh, in your loop. And then we just transfer uh, all these fibers into the loop there. You do actually want quite a bit of the butt ends sticking out the other side of the loop that makes um makes you a little bit of a fatter body so just trap them in the loop and then we just spin it up okay Then we just wind this up the body. Don't worry if some of the uh, red thread from the body shows through. Doesn't really make any difference. After every turn, brush the fibres back a little bit. Okay. Then you just need to catch off your dubbing loop there. Just make sure it doesn't slip. Just 
cut off the uh, tag piece of that there. Just apply a little touch of glue to the thread there. And then we just whip finish. Okay. So if you think any of the fibres are a bit long, you can trim them back a bit. You can run your scissors through and just um, make sure there's no fibres that are caught. And that is the rock chick. It looks crazy, but it works really, really well. Try tying some up.